So, hello everyone. Welcome to another one of our meetings. Today we are discussing episode uh, two of season four, Black Mirror, once more. Wow! I don't know about you, but I really, really love this episode. It really blowed my mind. I was, I was really freaking out. Next, I, I just watched it with a friend. And I was telling him, oh my God, this is terrible. Oh my God, this is terrible. Because I really care about kids and about development and brain development and human development. So I think this, this idea presented here was the worst thing we could do as humanity. I think this is the worst I've seen in Black Mirror. Maybe I'm exaggerating. I don't know about you. I would like to hear your opinions on the matter. So better you were the first one here. You are the first one to be asked. What are your thoughts, feelings, opinions, and ideas on the episode? You're silent, just in case. Ah. Um, I don't know. Uh, I I enjoyed the enjoyed the the the, the episode, but I don't know. I I felt uh, a lot of uh, I don't know uh, weird because I I suppose my mother uh, maybe I <laughs> uh, could um, could be uh, do uh, perdón, could do something like that yeah. so uh, it was uh, embarrassing it was emb embarrassing the the episode or you felt you felt like i don't know gosh, i don't know i don't know if embarrassed is the word because embarrassing mm -hmm. on you or you are embarrassed like you you've done something yeah. embarrassing so yeah but yeah it would be embarrassing if you're mm -hmm. yes yeah yes 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 so um uh do, what do you think of the just briefly because we're going deeper into this later what do you think of the of the device? What do you think of the idea presented here? Are you pro? This is I think this is a question. Are you pro or against parental control? No, again, I I don't I don't like the control uh, from you parents. Like, those notes, please, please. Mm -hmm. We're going deeper into that. Just wanted to know because we have a little bit, uh -huh. of, you know, that just that. Uh, but I'm going to ask the rest too, and then we get into that discussion. Okay. Because we will. That's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, Felipe, welcome. You were the second to get here, so you're the second to be asked. Um, dear, how, what do you feel? Uh, how do you feel with the episode? Uh, yes, I, it was a very strong episode. I think that uh, parent, parents can easily be like that if they're given the technology, the yes, chance. Yeah. Maybe they don't have so bad intentions, but I think that only a parent can know how they feel, uh, how to be overprotective, and it definitely can be like an addiction, addiction to overprotect your your son, your daughter. And if I'm against, uh, yeah, I'm totally against. <laughs> Yeah, extreme parental control. Yeah. It's it's very interesting because we as as a society have some parental controls like in television and internet, and I never uh, had one as a kid. I yeah. I could watch anything. Me too. I I don't know if any of you had parental control in your television yeah. or internet. Any of you? No, no, yeah, but but now, but I, I mean, I think it was a thing back then, but maybe our, our parents didn't know how to use it. <laughs> maybe <there's> Netflix, a... <laughs> Netflix, yeah. Netflix has some parental control yeah. and these Disney Plus, YouTube too, YouTube Kids, yeah. uh, Netflix Kids, um, even BTR, BTR. <laughs> for example, um, and you can you can put parental control in your deco. It's quite easy. So yeah, it's it's weird because I also grew up without parental control. I I I also had cable TV, so I could watch technically a soft porn on I don't know is that, but that was trend, trendy back then. Uh, I never had any restrictions, and I'm I am a totally completely normal human being. And I learned many things that my parents couldn't have taught me uh, in, in a wide variety of aspects from TV or content that my parents wouldn't movies. have allowed. Huh? 
movies also movies, movies that are meant for adults yeah. and i watch a lot as a kid <laughs> yeah me too i remember watching ghost like ghost the the shadow of love i don't know if that's a name in, in english but ghost the movie ghost uh when i was four or five and i remember that that scene that scene when they're working with the yeah yeah all that i remember that and i remember seeing like oh wow whatever i didn't understand of course uh and it didn't damage my brain so yeah uh Katy, you are the third one to get here so you're the third to ask uh <laughs> how do you feel with the episode um i feel a, a little uh, confused about my feelings <laughs> because um I don't have uh, kids, but I have nephews too. And I remember one time um, me and my sister, we lost uh, one nephew in a mall. Oh and I think that, yes, I think that this advice maybe could be helped in this situation, or for example, for the health, control for the health. But <clears throat> you can, do, you can su surprise. For example, this is a sign when the cortisol. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, because maybe in the future can be more, como, peor. Worse. Poor. Worse. Worse. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and another thing is because mm -mm, uh, with this advice, maybe you can prevent another another things for example um if you i don't know if you're assault or yeah if you're assaulted you think that you could, uh, they could help you something happens something you know. violence something yeah. like this but i don't know i don't know if i'm pro or in contra contra or against against yes yeah because because uh, also the science in something way is good you can invent something for for so, for some something better yeah maybe. like innovation um, yes or you, you can resolve uh, one problem and maybe obviously uh, can impact uh, in uh, worse things but when you advise when you invent something you can think or you think uh, for one better something i think yeah i understand i understand i think i get your point um but but i i, I mean as a parent i could understand especially when it comes to losing babies or when they get lost mm -hmm. uh, a gps for a baby maybe like a, a bra not in your brain i don't like the idea of putting things in brains of people but maybe a bracelet with a gps like cats can have or dogs to trace your kid but i would then i said no that's that's cool as a mother i would i would totally be okay with that and then i thought like but what what if my kid turns 14 and i remember my 14s when i used to say oh my mom i'm going to uh gloria's house be right back yeah uh and all the things that happened there and how much i learned from that experience so but at the same time it, it, it could be like a law that maybe uh, has a limit age until what age you can use your GPS or mm -hmm. control parental control. But anyways, I think it's weird to like see uh, the freaky the most the freakiest thing for me was watching what your kid sees. I seen what your kid sees. It's like no. Yes, it, it's difficult. Uh, it's horrible, I think. For, yes, for for another hand, uh, I think that it's bad uh, that you can control the life. Uh, from others or for example if my kids um, or my daughter or my girl no say I don't know um, have sex with a, a man and I saw this and no. I I go to the house uh, I don't know it's you can control uh, the life uh, from different person it's yeah. uh, bad I, I think, think that's, that is that's a problem that most parents have. Like I think we all went through a process in which our parents uh, or that we failed. Our parents were trying to control our lives, and we were trying to escape that. And we could because we had privacy. There were moments we had lies to save us from this uh, capture. Uh, but I, yeah. And you can 
you can learn, uh, uh, sorry, you can learn from a bad situation. That's it, yeah, yeah. When, when they block bad moments, it's like, what are you doing? Nati, you wanna join or are you, you wanna just go slow the first time? No, I can say oh, something. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I would like to hear your feelings and ideas. My feelings is that uh, it's uh, bad that the parents can control uh, that much of our life. Uh, I don't have kids. I don't have don't have nephews. Uh, no one kids in my life, so yes. I don't know what is be worrying for them. So for me, it's like no. Uh, let's kids be free. They are doing what they want, yeah. and I also. Yeah, let it go. They have the life. <laughs> uh, and also, when 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 I was young, um, the things that I can see uh, were um, eliminated. Now the kids have access to uh, Netflix, internet, uh, a lot of uh, things that can be uh, dangerous for them. So it's difficult for the parents of uh, little kids. When the kids have like uh, 14, no, let them uh, be free. <laughs> yes. But maybe kids like five, eight, five years, uh, it's okay to control a little bit. Like what they are, uh, can see, where are they? Something like that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about the what the scene, but I, I do think that the health, the heart, I don't know. I, I find it freak that somebody can see what you see. Ah, uh, no, no, no. no. Look at a corner, a secret corner. <laughs> Not like in Netflix, uh, in the... Ah, watch, yeah, watch. Watch, watch. Uh, watch. Uh, it's like uh, I can control by my cell phone what my kids can see in the... TV. Yeah, yeah, Something of course, like I that. agree with you. I think mm -hmm. if I had kids, we always say this because we, I think none of us has kids here. So we're all perfect parents. You have kids? Oh, you, we have, we cannot be perfect parents because we have an actual parent here. So the rest <laughs> of us can say how it, how it, how parents should be because we know everything about that. So, uh, yeah, as I, I, when I talk about having kids, maybe I think that I wouldn't give them a cell phone or maybe uh, a very, very restricted parental control TV. But then what we were talking with Felipe, uh, I didn't have that. And and I grew up normally. Why restrict my children? Maybe be careful. I don't know. Uh, Camilo, you have you're a parent. You like we should have you should have told us that at the beginning. We wouldn't have shared our ideas about being parents. So what do you think no, of the episode? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, thank you. Hi everyone. Uh, for me, it was like uh, three things. First, first, uh, or at least there are not. Um, centered in the parent son or parent daughter issue at least because uh, about the devices we have that kind of devices now so if we think about this gps watch we have it yeah. and there are kids that, that are using it and if they they press a button you can actually hear them so they exist uh, and about health control, we have them too. We have uh, regularly uh, health, exa health ex exams and things like that. So we are actually always trying to uh, quantify the our lives to trying to get some uh, some data in order to uh, to fight the to fight the uncertainty. Yes. We, we don't know if we are going to get sick tomorrow or two years from now, but we try to fight that by having certain data. And yeah. that, that, that data is, I don't know, your blood count or your cell, I don't know, counts of things. And that's what one thing. The other one, I think it's about a control or being able to control a other other people's lives. And if we think about, uh, I was I was thinking about WhatsApp 
and this uh, this discussion that we had i don't know two years ago maybe about the i don't know uh, los vistos ah, you know yeah, the, like the, the, the blue the blue ticket the yes. blue ticket and how it changes or how the debate about that was about how we can control the way in which we uh, we get to know or we get to interact with other people so we have certain a culture of the uh, el disto and things like that and uh, we can't control and i think that that is something that we have here at least in a uh, in a court and the other one the other thing is about we all know uh, i think if we don't know them, we are one of them. These bubble boys. We have, yeah. at least for me, for me, it was like yeah. meeting a bubble lot of boy. them, a, a lot of them in when we were entering university the first year. It was like a lot of bubble boys that came from certain backgrounds where they didn't have the experience of, I don't know, of drinking in the street that for me it was like very normal and regular for other people it was a kind of a strange and, and that's a bad example but in a lot of ways you have these bubble bubble boys or bubble girls that uh, don't have the experience or in the backgrounds that can uh, about cer certain things that are considered dangerous or things like that and I think, uh, in order to not, to not extend myself more, don't worry. Uh, okay. It's okay. We all do. <laughs> life, life is about popping bubbles. You know, it's like going from one bubble to another. Yeah. And if we prevent our children or ourselves from that, we are getting in trouble because there will be a time in which we will confront this time. And we will confront certain situations in which we uh, don't know how to act because we don't have neither the experience or the uh, or, or or the tools or the the tools for uh, react to that kind of situations. So so for me it's more about that. This episode I I don't know. For me it's more about that about control about bubble boys about uh, these devices that we tend to fear devices but we don't recognize recognize them uh, now and we have them and i think i think we, phones. yes i think we do. we do we do have them but uh there is one point that i think it makes an important difference is that i can just in my case i could be watched by the fbi or whatever in my mom but i could just throw this away forget about this i can like easily get rid of it if i want I, are you sure i mean yeah easily? There, is, there is a huge cost social cost you are isolated you are isolated from work it's not easy but if i really really wanted to have my freedom i could just let it be but these people had it in their brains i think that's what and we're talking about kids like uh that's the other that's what for me was really touching like the, she can she she doesn't have any any decision making here and she is prevented from experiencing life but yeah there the, in, in the idea of maybe having it all integrated in just one device that is put inside your brain is like um uh i forgot the word in spanish and also in english i, I just remember that is the concept i could describe it invasive that's the word invasive so yeah it's like over invasing private lives and doing it from such an early age i find it like heartbreaking and for me it was yeah and, and you have this yeah. this other thing that that is about how we uh, how we treat children as if they weren't a uh, subjects of rights or subjects yes. of this society no. of they, adults where we adults are own our kids of course, of course, and, and we were victims maybe of this because uh, sometimes we we were told, okay, you can't talk or you can't talk about this or you can't see this, but maybe it was like the fears of the adult, of the parents that were transferred into us or that 
in this in the case of the of the episode are transferred the fears maybe the the mother consider that the dog barking was a traumatic experience yes and it was like yeah. okay no she did it for the better like she, she wanted yeah. to help her yeah and the only thing that she is doing is transferring her fears into her children and it was like okay but maybe and we can realize that our fears are not the same that our parents so they tend to fear to other kind of things and and for me that's that's one one of the keys that we can prevent others from have experiences in any way in any way because she had to experience in a weird way but she experienced a lot of things that uh, maybe she could have easily uh, taught and that yeah. sort of thing for example <laughs> when, when she has sex when she's having sex the boy comments that she doesn't have to talk like porn movies and they they show you a, a few minutes before that she was watching porn so uh or, or when she when she got uh, rid of the the machine so I thought like, okay, this, this kid is doing all this because it's all new for her. And that's the bubble boys that enter university. And on that same year, they go out partying every single day and they do all the bad things and try all drugs and get three women pregnant. Uh, that's an exaggeration, but there are bubble boys like that. Um, so it was like that. And she was like only 15 and trying Coke, come on. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> Seriously, yeah, your brain, your brain is already dead, so has suffered so much, enough, leave it alone. Yeah. And at the end, and, she goes also, to a truck. Uh, yes, and, and also it was, it's a very uh, Anglo-Saxon fear, this one of the drugs and the metal, yes. you know, the, the kind of the, the outfit and the style of yes. the girl was like, was like right. metal, and dark and Marilyn Manson and yeah. kind of and kind of uh, Columbia shootings yeah. and you know it, it's a fear that we don't share because we don't have it here but we saw it when we see for example these kids that were using uh, black nails you know or this eye eyeliner uh, or uh, gross eyeliner so it was like it is like a common fear of young people, young people, young and strange people. You have to be very pink as a lady or very blue as a boy in order to get into the standards that a society and your parents want for you, you know, and not be feared. But eventually you get to be that weird kid that wears in black. <laughs> it's like bias. Social bias is, is always yeah, there. Of course. Of course. Uh, thank you, Camilo. Uh, thank you for joining us. It's going to be fun. Uh, Gabby, what about you? I would like to hear you too. Hello. 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 Uh, I, I disagree with the idea of that level of control parental because. Yeah, Huh? Parental control. Parental control. Because uh, I think uh, children uh, don't learn about what thing is dangerous and what not. So I, I, I uh, uh, think when I watch the the episode that one day the dog can uh, is, uh, well, run out. away and uh, attack the girl and the girl uh, she doesn't uh, uh, now who react yes and the other point is uh, because the mother uh, trusts a lot in in the in the tablet, in the device. So I, I think the mother forget uh, uh, important points in the education of her uh, daughter because I, uh, I uh, think she don't talk about uh, drugs or 
uh, pregnancy, pre clearly. Pregnancy, yes. And oh, that was horrible. It that is very uh, awesome mother. Yeah. Uh, so. She's, she's, I think she's, I, I hate, I hate being the perfect parent when you're not a parent, but I, I think she's a bad mom. Um, uh, because like, I mean, it's kind of difficult to be a mom. It's kind of extremely difficult, but I think that I, I, I could understand she was trying to do the best. I could see my mom, not at the same level, of course, but some areas of my mom sometimes where she was, I don't know, uh, very worried, worried about me or trying to prevent me from being hurt uh or or suffering anything so i understand but at the same time it's like when you and that's why i think it has to it, it you need to be or it should be very important the time when you have a baby you have to be ready to understand um uniqueness you have to be ready to understand the value of a human being basically you have to be uh, uh, um, on your way to evolution so as a human being to think or consider that you're worth reproducing um uh, so i it, maybe that's what I, I, all this episode made me feel like oh my god everybody should be like we should have some control on parental control not on kids but on being parents like parental pregnancy control or something like that maybe like not everybody can be a father so yeah gabby yeah i think she, the mother only a mother about where is her daughter yeah like like but, like I think like a, a possession. Yeah, but uh, I don't think she, uh, the mother and her daughter, have a real connection because never talk about one each other. Yes, she never told her mom about her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Like, I think we we all had secret boyfriend or girlfriend at some stage, but it was just like. Uh, maybe you uh, normally or, or, or i don't know the girl the girl was like totally unconnected and she was unconnected it, to her wasn't, too. it wasn't like a boyfriend it was like yeah it was boy. like a thing yeah like but, but she was 15 at 15 is your future husband i think that uh, she thinks that it's just a boy who is showing the world to yeah he's her. trying to describe discover the world okay. yes um but i don't think that uh, she uh, have to tell to his his her yeah. mom that yeah. she have a man in this life not boyfriend yeah. a friend yeah, not not everyone but it, it, it also i think i think it would be i i, I think i don't know i think it could it talks good about parents if your kids shares his experiences with you or her experiences like oh my mom you know i met someone i like this boy he's very nice or or and not or not it's okay if you don't do know i don't know there, no. there's <laughs> one thing i I, yeah. I don't know if you noticed that when they had sex uh, they tried to imply that it wasn't the first time yeah was it or was it me <laughs> but yeah. uh, they try to imply that it wasn't the first time so i tend to think that her mother erased the the first experience maybe i don't know i don't know it's uh oh theory. my god but, you, we, but, we can always find dark things yeah sorry but no that, that's that when they actually had sex they uh, he says uh, it can't be your first time Yes, and she says, "Oh no, it is, it is." But maybe her mother erase erase that memory because it's the same software we saw on uh, entire. I don't know if you saw watch it, Camilo, before, but we did. Um, uh, we watched uh, the entire history of you. Remember the where where the guys record life with the eye and has five with the girlfriend and the baby and all that. So it's the same program. It's the same software. It's the same, it's the same because it's the same universe. I did my research and it's the same universe. So yes, uh, the software, when you go back into memories, when in the episode, when they go back into her memories, when she met this boy and all this, uh, it's the same software. So maybe she could actually delete that memory, but that would like leave a whole dark, strange 
open question like why what happened then um so yeah i don't i don't want to uh, and that is not here today thanks god because he would get into this like crazy um got it hello i hadn't say hello to you well hi um uh how do you feel with the episode any ideas to share with us it was weird it was a weird episode <laughs> we and yeah <laughs> uh, i think that the mom uh, have a mental problem yeah yeah, because she has like um, an attachment problem with her daughter, and that's become when the with the cesarea. I don't know how do you say cesarea. Yes, yeah, I yes. forgot about the, the beginning. Good, good. Yeah, I I think that um, all the problem is because she has a mental problem with with the kid because uh, at the first uh, when. Uh, the girls uh, born and she didn't listen to cry uh, in, in that moment uh, begin all the yeah i think i think it began all oh, what happened to karen oh my god karen he's froze to all of <laughs> karen are you there oh there you are come back continue yes yes yeah. yeah, we we lost you. Um, we lost you. You were you were talking. You were saying that she was having the baby, and we lost you again. Uh, there you are. Um, my my internet is not very good. Yeah, but, but <laughs> so continue, sorry. just continue. Don't worry. Uh, I don't know in what part. <laughs> you were saying it. you were you were talking about the, the cesarea or the pain. No, no, it's not cesarea. The word I googled it once, but I don't remember when she gave birth. C-section. C-section. Yes, yes, yes. C-section. Thank you. C-section. Yeah. So you were talking. Yeah. About when the when the mother when the mother can uh, listen to, uh, the baby cry, I think that. Yeah. In that moment, begin all the the trauma. Yes, yes. I, I was going to say that maybe even before that, when she she felt guilty or worried about it from the beginning because she had to push and she couldn't push. So I think that maybe she yes. felt like a yes. failure, like she's gonna she's not a good mom from the beginning, and then the baby didn't cry, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Oh my God, what's wrong with my baby?" So the entire life was being worried, or being panicking. What was that? Was it me? Did I only hear it? Oh, I heard a strange alien voice. Um, what is that? Yeah, okay, so yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, sorry, I got distracted with that voice. Is, is, it, is it any of you? I can hear you. <laughs> oh, maybe it's Karen. Maybe it's Karen with her with technical problem. Yeah, yes. but, but yeah. I'm so, sorry. Um, no, don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> So uh, I think that there are like there are other ideas like the, maybe the intentions behind devices like this, and this is a speculation, of course. I would like to hear your opinions on why do you think technologies like this could be or are now developed? Like I think this is something I I, I think I fear something very similar could be coming in a few years. Like it always happens with like mirror. You always end up feeling like oh my god, we're about to do this. I know we're about to do this. Um, so, uh, for me, as I told you from the beginning, this is one of the most scariest creation I've seen on Black Mirror. I was really, really, um, like disturbed by the entire history of you. Uh, I remember that discussion. I remember thinking like, if I had that in my eye, I would be the one recording back to that moment where it really hurt and I want to see it again, just to hate you more, maybe. Um, so, uh, I went and, and that was disturbing for me, but this, this is on a baby and please don't mess with the kids. I really care about kids. So, um, I would like to hear, I speculate here. I would like to talk about why do you think, uh, let me start with maybe Felipe. Felipe, why do you think a company would develop something like this? What do you think are the real intentions? Because we know that companies in Black Mirror are not good, well intended. So why do you think this would be? I think it could be speculated that they are meant to uh, for surveillance. Yeah. Uh, 
to maybe control population and that kind of stuff. But have have you watched the movie Snowden or do you know who Snowden is? Snowden? No, I'm Googling now. Uh, Snowden is a guy, a whistle blower. How, how do you write that? Whistle? Whistle? No, no, whistle no the name is no. Like a snow and then, yeah. then like G E N. Yes. Ah, yeah, I was uh, going with TH, sorry. Yes. Ah, snow then, yeah, sorry. I found it. Yeah, it's a real. I've heard about it, I've heard about it but I don't yeah, know. Much. It's a real history story. Yeah. It's a real story about a guy in the Pentagon that they show him how the United States can access uh, anything on the internet. Like, you have this uh, WhatsApp message that tell you, do you want WhatsApp to share your information? Mm -hmm. and, and you put yes. That, that doesn't matter. They can access the information anyway. <laughs> anyway it's, it's, um, it's just a protocol. From, yeah. If it's in the internet, uh, people can access to it. So there's not like a god of internet that decide people access to the internet and can search anything. So, for example, if you talk about uh, being a school shooting, a school shooter, uh, in Twitter, in Facebook, they can they can find you. So it's not like a, a cons conspiracy theory. Oh, it's, it's, it, it's real because Snowden is in Russia right now because uh, Americans are waiting for him to arrest him. Is he the one from uh, Pirate Bay or no? No, it's not the same? No, no, it's uh, uh, sorry. Uh, like a US agent. Yeah. Not, not a field agent, someone that was working on the computer only. Yeah, on the IT system. And yeah, he, he leaked this information and he had to flee yeah. to Russia because other countries are, want him for revealing what they were doing. That is, so, is treason, treason. When you, when you, when you, I mean, yes. treason, not for me, but it's like for the state. Yes. And yes, and other European countries like the UK uh, have the, the power to extradite yeah. uh, this person and they will do it because it's in their interest also. Of course. Uh, yes. They have we the saw, power. Uh, yes, we saw Mark Zuckerberg in the US. Yeah, in the Congress. And yes, that was... That was okay. That I was lame. The, 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 the interview was so lame. It was <laughs> lame. And yeah, it's law and everything, but behind the scenes, they can access your information anyway. So it, it doesn't matter what a lawyer is saying if if he doesn't know what is and happening. It, they, can, they can use the, the, the reason like security of the nation in any yeah. case, whenever they want. And and they, yes. Yes. And and they won't they won't tell you they're doing it. No. And that's that's the reality. And I and I think that in the movies now <laughs> they show you that uh, they don't care about you at first. They don't care what you show to people or yeah. your personal life. They only care about uh, political things. Like for example, you're talking about Palestine. Palestinians, or you're talking about uh, something about uh, Stadio Social. Yeah. They care about that kind of things, but they don't care about private matters. Oh, yeah, like they don't care if you send news. Um, yeah. Th yeah, of course. Or maybe like um, type pornography, maybe like bill felony, or could be that you are, could be. I don't, I'm not going to say that because I think the people in those positions are maybe pedophiles. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but, but, but yeah, they, they can access this information. Now we, we know, but we cannot help it. And, and it's true that we all could access that database right away. Like, I don't know, the United States government database on, uh, sexual assaults right away. Uh, PDI, PDI, PDI can whatever. access, for example, with the killer of Ambar. Yeah. They search everything that that guy searched and uh -huh. he was searching 
that how to maybe hide a body and that yeah and that information yeah exactly and that information is there the you can maybe create a database of possible killers possible pedophiles yes. and i think it will work but that will be some something about liberty uh, violations strong and heavy freedom liberty violations and uh, at the same time it's like what we were talking about shut up and dance when uh we talked about the potential pedophile is the same problem is it a crime just because you think about it or you google it or you watch the videos it's not a crime until you make it or is it before so yeah it will be something like a prediction yeah like, it's like minority uh, like movies uh, yes. Yeah, and it will not be a person like making prediction. It will be artificial intelligence. They yes. will say this guy, right? This guy is watching too much of these things. For example, yeah. he's searching uh, weird things every day. For example, yes. And the, and then and then the the selection is like at the end. What's the scary thing about this? At the end, that machine that's gonna make it's gonna be in charge of decision making. It's gonna be our god. So we're going to lose our, our, our um, what's the word on the Bible? I'm so tired today. I can remember the concept in the Bible. Uh, libertad, but it's like freedom, but it's not freedom. What is the concept that God gave us? Free will. Free will. Oh, thank you. Okay, how can I forget that? <laughs> uh, so we would lose our free will, um, which I think is scary. Do you think it, uh, let me, thank you, Felipe. I loved, loved this that. Is, this is like a libre albedrío. Albert, 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 yeah. That's the word in Spanish. I couldn't think of the word in Spanish. I couldn't think of the word in English. Today, Today's interview got me really tired, kids. Uh, that's why. Um, so I would, uh, yeah. So we were talking, we were just, we were just talking about uh, losing our wheel or, or how much, how much we gave, we give the information, like the fact. Uh, the information we give that we cannot help given. I mean, uh, as we, we said before, you can easily get rid of this easily when you're when you're willing to lose all that this means. But uh, in this case, uh, we're talking about having us having that information. Uh, do you think that parents, I mean, um, Gabby, I would like to ask you this. Do you think that uh, parents should be like we were saying, like parents should be somehow aware of most of the things that happen in life of teenage kids. Like, I don't know, you know, you, I don't know. Are you okay with the idea of maybe having parents that sometimes check your Facebook or Instagram or your phone if you want, or sometimes can, I don't know, ask you to send you, send me a picture where you are. Send me your GPS. What do you think of that? Mm, I think it's wrong because uh, uh, the the teenagers learn about uh, making mistakes, so it's better they uh, they learn at freedom, but have a connection, a communi real communication with their, par their parents because they uh, are only uh, the one people who never judge you because they love you, so. That's what they say. Uh, I mean, no, it's not that they, they say they love you. I mean, they say that they are the only ones who won't judge you, but maybe sometimes they are the ones who judge you the most mm. because they love you. <laughs> yeah. So, so it yeah. depends on parents. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It depends on the relationship you build with your parents. Um, mm -hmm. Was like that. Was a little bit. Was it a little bit like that in your case? You had more brothers and sisters, uh, but did you ever feel like a little bit of over parental control? Mm, no. No. Were you, no. anybody here who had a sad story of parental control who would like to share that sad story? Felipe, go ahead. I'm already sad. Uh, my mother didn't let me watch Dragon Ball as a kid. Oh. 
Oh my god. And, oh my god. I totally feel and, you. Me neither. And, oh my god. And everyone <laughs> watched like Dragon so. Ball and I couldn't talk about it with my friend. It was so sad. <laughs> I can totally understand how it feels. My mother didn't allow me to watch Dragon Ball or or any kind almost any cartoons. I could only watch uh, Discovery Kids. Uh, Discovery, back then, Discovery Kids wasn't even like what it is today. It was Mecánica Popular para Niños and Science. Thank you, Mom and Dad, but um, I would have liked to be part of the conversation sometimes. That's cool, with Pokemon at least. Uh, Vero, you wanted to, yes. I don't know how to say, bajar la mano, that's it. Yes. <laughs> um, yes, I, I... I have a, I had a parental parental control uh, from my father. Uh, he didn't like that I have um, I have I have uh, I haven't uh, no I have pre friends uh, men uh, in the high school for example uh, because yeah. uh, I maybe in some universe for, uh, I got a pregnancy. Yeah. So you don't, uh, you don't, uh, the, the, the sentence was, or oh, yeah, was, uh, you don't, uh, you can't uh, talk with, uh, uh, <laughs> with boys. Men, you can't boys talk with men. In the, in the high the school. <laughs> yes. So oh, uh, my mom, no, but. You ever rebel against that? You ever like, no. up it's like, oh my God. No, only uh, when I started in the I started in the university, I I begin to in friends, to, boy friends, to have a, a, a friend because the it's not um is is not a other choice because my uh, major was uh, ah I yes so. physics no you know you studied physics right yes. So I have, I have two uh, uh, girls to my yeah. part, like yeah. uh, classmate, and twenty or thirty. Uh, it's like you chose boys. your career just to torture your father. <laughs> like, you know what, Dad? I'm going to study physics. That's going to be your punishment. Great. Good. Yes. Well done. But anyway, that's that's uh, to be honest, that's shocking. I've never heard story like that. It's like from the previous century. I'm very glad you grew up normally. You're a good girl. I like you. <laughs> Kathy, uh, go ahead. Yes, in the high school, my mother, or my parents, I don't remember, um, don't, uh, I don't have permission for stay in another house yes. to my friends. I all the weekend, all the weekend, I go to the party or disco, exceso in Curico. But uh, when they finish uh, the disco, I come back in my house always. Yes, you could never. And we talked about this once. Like, yes. I, I, I did all my bad stuff and all the mischieving things every time I said I was going to stay at somebody else's place. Uh, so it's like, how did you do it? <laughs> I, 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 maybe, maybe my parents would have allowed me if I had told them the truth. I'm like, uh, can I go to the disco? But I don't think so. I think the only way I could do it was the way I did. <laughs> but yeah, you went out. You were allowed to go out, but just not to stay in another house. And it makes sense. Yes, and uh, in in, in this like, in this time, I, I don't drink. Drink. You didn't drink. Yes. Yes, because I don't like it. I didn't like it. But I don't think uh, that this is the reason for my parents don't like the staying in another house. I think that is because um, for como tranquilidad, quiet. Yes. yes, of course. Yes. Of course. It's like uh, we, we talked about this with my friend when we were watching the episode. Like, parents. It's so it could be so I think it is very stressing to be a parent and and, yeah. and I think like how how much I don't know I would I would rather die than losing my kid for example like I don't know my only job is to take care of this little animal and it, I, I fail at my job and it, it get lost I would be like a like an animal I'm talking about as an animal like a female animal not a mother that loves female animal trying to protect the weakest creature I would, 
I, I don't know if I could be able to forgive myself. My mom lost me two times when I was a kid. Uh, <laughs> but what, I mean, it, my, my mom is a control freak. So I don't know how this happened, but it happened twice. And it happens once for, a, for a, just a little while, maybe a few minutes. I bet it felt like hours for her. But the second time I got lost in Plaza Vespucio in Santiago. It's like a big, it was back then, it was the only big mall. It was the shopping, the one. So we went there and uh, I was playing in Chuck and Cheese and I got lost for like 45 minutes. And everybody was looking for me. And after that, my mom always took me out with a correa, with, with a thing on my, uh, with like a bracelet connected to her. And I, <laughs> this is true. And I went on the streets from with the bracelet on connected to my mom from, I don't know, it was like three to five years when I moved to Urico. And that's when my mom thought that I was in a, in Provincia now. So nothing would happen in Provincia. <laughs> uh, but yes, yes. I, 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 and I, I always think about that. I think it's embarrassing, but I always think like maybe she was desperate. She didn't want to lose me ever, ever, ever again. And, and everybody was saying that, I don't know, some people steal kids uh, you, yeah, or the terrible things that can happen to your kid if you get lost. I don't know. Camilo, you were a father. You said you were a father. What about our protection? Um, tell us about your daughter or, or boy. I don't know what, what is it. And tell us about how it feels to be protective on your child. I, I don't think. Yeah. I'm overprotective on the contrary. Uh, my kid has uh, is? 15, 15 is, is 15? 15 ah, so it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. So you yeah, could be well, the parent I, from the show. Yes, I was a, a very teenage father. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I'm overprotective and um I think I'm uh, thinking about where what we, you were saying about parent parent control and that what Felipe was saying about Dragon Ball. I studied it in a religious school, so yeah. most of the things that were forbidden were from there, you know. But mostly in terms of uh, this is satanic and stuff like that, and I didn't. Uh, buy that stuff but uh, you tend to i don't know to to go to those places where yeah. you have forbidden things yes of course felipe now watch dragon ball <laughs> do you do you believe it you yeah, watch dragon ball uh, i didn't watch it but i watch other animes that uh, were yeah i was just I was, as violent it's better because i was like i don't watch anime at all i don't watch cartoons i don't watch the same stuff i don't watch cartoons no me, me neither but my point is that for example we have this uh, this guy that said that pokemon was satanic that disney was yeah. pedophilic was pedophilic that and a guy in authority and when you are like uh, 10 years old, nine years old, you tend not to, uh, you tend to, to hear these people, to hear this, uh, Lord Naruto. Naruto, <laughs> he's a Naruto, someone tells, someone tells you, hello, he's here, he's here in my meeting, get him. <laughs> Los Narutos, but yes, yes, you have, um, about being a parent, I think that it's about a, uh, trying not to find fight something that you can't fight that is uncertain you can do certain things you can do those things in terms of trying to protect most of you can but you have to be sure and you have to be aware that even though you try to protect them you can't uh, be around them every day every day every time and in those moments in those moments, you have to know, and I know it, that it's better for them or, or better for her to have the abilities or the uh, the competences to uh, respond yes. to those situations that uh, that are presented to her. So, for me, it's not like overprotecting. Mostly, it's like telling how serious 
certain things are are in life and you know you i i am lucky because we are i'm 30 i'm 32 so we are not that far in terms of age so yeah. it is like uh, i know narutos uh, i know th things that are happening with kids right now and i know for example how to use a computer a cell phone and i am kind of very keen on a uh, i I managed to uh, to use the, that kind of technology, and um, uh, I think that's that's the concept. You can't fight uncertainty because it's for it's the most ancient. Someone says said it is the most ancient uh, fear and emotion. Fear is the most ancient uh, emotion that we have, and fear to the unknown is the yeah. most ancient and strongest emotion that we have so uh, you can fight it you can fight it because unknown is always there unknown it's always coming and we have now today we have this thing having us enclosed that we i think none of us thought that we have we will have a pandemic in our lives but it is happening and we try to adapt and we adapt so for me, life, we adapt in different levels, but we adapt. And so it's not, a, at least we survived. You know, we can say we at survived. At least we tried. <laughs> we, we, we tried like, fight uh, the uncertainty. You try fight. It's not fight. Actually, it's not fight. You cannot resist. You just have to let go or let it be. Like, we, go, go with it. Go with it. Of course. And, and, and that doesn't mean that we... Um, we, you know, we let life happens to us, yeah. but we we have to know that there are things that you can't control, and a lot of those things are the things that happen with other people, and most of the thing, most of those things, or most of those people, all the people we love, and the people we love, we don't have to try, and that's I don't know one. Uh, something to learn in terms not only in relations in parental relationships but also in all our relationships that we can't control because we can't live in fear you know if you think about your boyfriend your girlfriend about your marriage about your everything you, you can't be uh, at all times thinking oh uh, it's cheating on me and we all know that kind of girl, that kind of boy that is always thinking that his boyfriend is cheating on her. But, and that's not life, you know? And that's not a way of, a, maybe, or, of living or a way of thinking about the ones you love. But that's it. That's it for me. It's like a, having or giving, trying to give the tools to respond to a to cope, that's the word, to cope, to cope with... To cope, uh, yes, to face and cope yeah. with reality. To cope with uncertainty. uncertainty yeah, with uncertainty. And the unknown. <laughs> I love that. It's a good, perfect closure. I uh, just wanted to say that uh, every time something like this happens, I try to emphasize with parents and I think about my cats, which is like the closest thing they have <laughs> to a kid. But it's like, it's, it's, I'm, I'm not kidding here, I'm being honest. So I think when my cats go out, for example, and sometimes they're like, it's like, you know, they normally go out for a little while and it's like, oh my God, I haven't seen my cat in, in a few, in, I don't know, an hour. What could he be? He could be, I know my cats, he's a good cat. He'll be back and he's back. So um, maybe that's some kind, my, my best advice for parents. Trust, I think that this is also about trusting in what you did. Like you did this job. If you did it well, trust your kid. If you didn't, try to correct yourself. It's so much easier when you're not a parent. Um, okay, so everyone, I just wanted to thank you all. Uh, it was a pleasure. To, after today, we could be a little bit more famous because uh, on their webpage, they also publicized our meetings. So maybe we're going to have more people coming. If not, um, thank you for uh, keep coming here and making this possible. I'm very proud and happy of this group. Mm -hmm. uh, big hugs, hugs and kisses. Oh, I just wanted to say before, 
this is this was funny because this question presented in this episode is a common TOEFL question. They always talk about parental control in TOEFL. So just in case, think about it. Um, so yeah, thank you all for coming. Uh, thank you, Nati, for coming the newcomers. Thank you, Nati, and thank you, Camilo. I hope you guys come back. And the the classic, the the regular ones. Thank you once again. Take care, everybody. Hugs and kisses for everyone. Goodbye. Bye. 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 B